public reaction to Justin Trudeau's claims may be shaped by the values and beliefs of those who lean toward limited government and personal responsibility. For many, the idea of responsible governance is intertwined with principles like low taxes, minimal state intervention, and the encouragement of self-reliance. Trudeau's policies, perceived as expansive and interventionist, might be seen as a direct threat to these values, leading to a loss of confidence in his leadership. This erosion of trust could leave people feeling disempowered, frustrated, or even angry as they perceive a diminishing control over their own lives. We're pushing ahead on national pharmacare, making insulin free for every Canadian who needs it, and providing free prescription contraceptives because we not only believe in a woman's right to choose, we act on it. As of last week, our Canadian dental care plan has already helped over half a million previously uninsured Canadians get the dental services, dental care they deserve. And we've been able to do all this because we've been responsible with taxpayer dollars, delivering the lowest deficit amongst advanced industrialized nations and the lowest net government debt in the G7. These are important victories for Canadians, the middle class, for working people. When Trudeau asserts that he is being responsible with taxpayer dollars, it may be met with skepticism, particularly from those who prioritize fiscal restraint and efficient use of public funds. His spending on initiatives like national health insurance, free insulin, and dental care could be criticized as excessive, raising concerns about the misallocation of taxpayer money. Instead of promoting individual responsibility and independence, such programs might be viewed as fostering increased dependency on government assistance, heightening concerns about growing national debt and the potential inefficiencies of a sprawling welfare state. To some, this approach signals a path towards a bloated government that could stifle the nation's economic vitality and self-reliance. 